What is going on everybody? My name is Dominic Luck and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this amazingly clean straight to the point website that looks amazing which is going to allow you to advertise your business or maybe just share some information um, with people. Whatever you want to do with this you can do. This can be done very inexpensively and in a very short period of time. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get cracking on this. So go ahead and get your coffee, your tea, whatever it takes to give you a little energy boost, and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do to get your website up and running is choose a hosting platform. Hosting is basically a large database which holds all the information about your website. There are multiple hosting platforms out there, but I go with HostGator. I've been with them for about two years now and they've been great. I've never had any issues. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to www.hostgator.com. I'll put all the links in the description below for all the different uh, websites and uh, things I'm using here. Um, so what you're going to want to do when you get to hostgator.com is go to their web hosting to uh, get this free certificate and what that is is the uh, little emblem here letting people know that your website is secure. So um, then next we have the baby plan, which is basically the same as the hatchling plan, except for it offers you unlimited domains. So basically, if you plan on starting more than one website, uh, or if you think you might in the future, this would be a great place to uh, start. Then you have the business plan, uh, which adds some additional benefits and, uh, and features that likely uh, you're not going to be using being as though we're just starting out. But later on uh, you can always upgrade um, to you know the uh, next plan if you would like to like if you outgrow let's say the hashling plan but for this uh, demonstration here we're gonna go with the hashling plan so what you want to do is go ahead and click on buy now then it's gonna bring you to this page here and what this is is basically uh, choosing your domain and again this is gonna basically be the name of your website so what you're gonna want to do um, when choosing your domain is use words that relate to your business or you know your service whatever you provide unfortunately a lot of the more common uh, you know words are going to be used up as far as domains so what you want to do is try different things um, in, in mixing up things to see if that helps so for this example I'm going to uh, search for the domain vision creators Com. Um, over here they give you the option to change you know what comes after the dot in this case is dot com you can choose dot biz um, dot info you know dot org and what that does is it uh, gives you say I look vision creators up and it's not available under dot com I can uh, pick one of these other words to use so for example visioncreators.com is not available but as you can see visioncreators.club is and then they'll give you the options for the different um, versions or variations of the uh, domain name that are available so if I wanted to and I wasn't too um, you know pressed about it being a .com I could go with visioncreators.site for only 95 cents a year compared to the seven dollars for .com so I mean if you're looking to save some money that could be another option too um, you know, it's not necessarily a huge deal that it be .com at the end. I mean, whatever you're, you know, putting out there for your your viewers or customers to see is, you know, what they're going to search. All right, so what I'm going to do is see if I can switch a letter here and if, see if that makes any difference. So let's try Vision Creators with a K. All right, yeah, and as you can see, that is available. Um, so, you know, if you really want a .com, you can go ahead and just change some of the letters around or do what you need to do to, um, you know, make it work. Um, you know, but just keep in mind you have all these other options if you choose. All right, so I think I'm going to go with that. So being as though I know that this is the domain name that I want to select, I want to make sure that the box is checked and no other ones are. We're going to scroll down here and they, um, the hosting platform offers a domain privacy protection plan for $1.25 a month and basically what this is is it um, hides your information from people um, once if they were to try to you know look you up 
um, they, they basically just wouldn't be able to see your information. So if uh, privacy is a concern for you, you can go ahead and check this. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. So I'm going to leave this unchecked because I do not want to add it. We'll scroll down here. Then we're going to choose our hosting plan. Um, we've already chosen the Hashlink plan, but if you change your mind or you know you want to switch it up, you can make that change here. Then let's see the billing cycles. Yeah, they give you the option to pay multiple months in advance, which is going to give you a significant di discount. So if you look here, 36 months is going to save you 60.5% off of the uh, $10.95 cent per month um, fee that they normally charge. So if you're able to do this, it will save you a lot of money um, if you're able to buy, pay more months in advance. But if you're just starting out and you know, you're just kind of getting things rolling, you can go ahead and um, you know, just pick one month and we'll just do that for this example. And then you're going to want to go ahead and create a username, uh, create a pin, enter your information here, as far as your billing info and then your credit card info, they do offer a couple methods of payment. So you want to make sure whichever one you're using, that's selected. Um, then you're going to come down here and they have some additional service plans. Um, now, as you can see, the free SSL certificate is already included. So you definitely want to make sure that's checked. I guess you can't uncheck it. But then everything else here is optional. Like they have some, um, you know, like hacker protection, uh, professional emails, some um, backup, you know, benefits that they offer. So you can kind of go through these. If any of these are something you'd be interested in, you can go ahead and pick those. But I'm not worried about these. So I'm just going to unbox all of the uh, other additional services they offer. Then they enter a coupon code here for you but I actually know of a better one that's going to give you uh, more of a discount. So what you want to do is go ahead and type in snappy60. Validate that. And as you can see, huge discount. That took about $15 off. So now we're going to be able to get our domain registered, have our hosting plan for a month, and um, you know get money back guarantee instant account activation and then you have the 24 7 365 phone live chat and email support so that is pretty awesome for five bucks so what you're going to want to do is once you have everything filled out you know it's always good to kind of scroll over check everything out make sure everything is how it should be then we're going to come down here and then we are going to click this then we just click check out now all right great so it looks like they are getting our account all set up so that we can get our new amazing website up and running so we'll just give this a few seconds here and then we will move on all right so once that's finished processing a little pop-up is going to come up and it's going to say how experienced are you in creating websites select one um, you can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to select this one. don't think it matters, but, um, you know, select whichever one you'd like. I will be showing you how to do it. So you can probably click this one. And then uh, from here, what we do is we just click on continue. Then we'll have a few more questions come up. You just want to read through these and select which one uh, works best for you. So in this case, I'm going to say no then uh, what will be used or was used to build the website. We're going to be using WordPress, so we want to select WordPress. All right, let's see. What is the purpose of your website? Select one. Uh, so looking at these, you're likely going to be picking one of these. Idea that will hopefully turn into a business or a nonprofit or for a new business or established business. So you can select whichever one of these you want or whichever one works best for you. I'm going to choose that, click continue, and then let's see, HostGator, uh, I guess HostGator offers you, you know, some expert advice on how to move traffic to your website. Um, that's up to you. You can select one of these if you'd like, but for right now, I'm going to say none of the above and then hit done. All right, so now that we're done answering those few questions, we are going to go to the main customer portal here. And our next step is going to be to install WordPress. 
And what WordPress is is basically just a program that makes it uh, a lot easier for you to make your website. A lot of um, you know copy and paste and dragging things compared to having to write code out. So it's very useful. So once you go to the hosting page here, you're going to want to scroll down to the quick install, the launch quick install. All right, and then they're going to redirect you to this page here. And if you would like, you can go ahead and close down the other windows that you had open, keep things neat. So we're going to go ahead and click on WordPress. Then it's going to ask you to select the domain for the install of WordPress. Um, so you're going to go ahead and select the domain that you just created. You're going to want to leave the directory blank. Go ahead and click Next. Then you're going to have a blog name, and I'm just going to make the blog name the same name as the domain name. And uh, let's see, my admin will just be then into your first and last name. An email address that you want to associate this um, website with. I'm going to go with this one, then you're going to want to click the box, have these two boxes clicked, and then you're going to hit install. And then from here, WordPress is installing onto our new website. So once that's done, you'll see the installation is complete. The installation details right here, very important. Uh, you want to make sure to keep this password because this is your temporary password. Um, you know, you're going to definitely want to save this because you're going to need this to change your password once you uh, access your website. So you want to go ahead and save this stuff here. And you can write this down or save it however you'd like. So from here, what we're going to do is click Login. Okay, so you'll see that it says, sorry, we couldn't find that page. And the reason why it's giving you this message is because um, the internet is a pretty big place so it's going to take a little bit of time for your website to kind of get spread out and uh, recognized as a website this typically takes about two hours but I've heard that it can take up to 24 typically um, in the past I've been around the two to four hour range but um, yeah so it's going to need a little bit of time to kind of get out there so what I'm going to do now is take a little break and when I come back, um, you know, we'll go ahead and get started and get this website finished up. All right, guys, we are back. I hope you guys had a good break, but I'm sure everyone was excited to get back to uh, getting their website started. So I'm not sure about you guys, but it's been about four hours for me um, until I was able to get a different uh, web or uh, image come up when I clicked on my domain name and this was the image that I had come up it's basically you know saying that your website is coming soon so hopefully this is the same um, image that you guys have because it's where we're going to continue from so we're just going to go ahead and continue and hit admin login and then from here you're going to be brought to the sign in screen for work presses a uh, back page or a dashboard for your website. So this is where you're going to enter the information in that you had uh, received earlier um, when you were installing WordPress. So uh, you're going to enter your username and then the you know random password that they had given you. All right, guys, so we finally made it. Here is our dashboard. And this is where all the magic happens as far as creating our new website. So unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties to where I accidentally erased the footage of my uh, initial login to the back page here. Um, but that's no problem. There wasn't too much that's going to be different. Uh, there was a little pop up here. You just want to go ahead and exit out of that. And then um, I believe that was about it. Um, if I did miss anything in the comments below, you can go ahead and, you know, leave me a comment and then I can go over if I did miss anything important that I'm not remembering. But, um, till then we'll just keep it moving. So the first thing that we're going to want to do once we get to our dashboard is go ahead and change our password from that, uh, you know, funky thing they gave us earlier. So we're going to go over here and go to users. 
Then we are going to go ahead and click on our user profile, click edit. And then we are going to scroll down to the bottom. And then under account management, you'll see new password. And then here you just hit generate password. You can go ahead and delete the one that they generate for you. I'm going to go ahead and hide my password. And then just go ahead and enter your new password. All right, so once you have your new password entered, go ahead and update profile. All right, and there we go. Our password is updated. Great, so the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and delete uh, the plugins that WordPress installed for us. So we just wanna to go to plugins, hit installed plugins. And what plugins are, uh, it's basically just uh, features that are added to your website because uh, WordPress doesn't offer a lot of these features. So they have a you know third party create um, different plugins which allow you to do things like uh, create a contact form or a uh, you know like an image slider or a photo gallery or something along those lines. But as of right now, we do not need any of those things. And if we do, we'll add them later. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down here to where our plugins are located. And then we want to go ahead and just click this box here where it says plugins. All these will be checked. Then first thing we're gonna do is deactivate them. Hit apply. Then once they're deactivated, we're gonna go over here, uh, click all the boxes again or check all the boxes again. Then we are going to delete them. Go ahead, click apply and then it's going to ask us if we're sure. We're going to say, yep. So then all our plugins are deleted. So now that we can, uh, now we can start fresh with our new website. All right. So then from here, what we can do is we can scroll up to the top left corner here uh, under our username or our website name. And then we can click on visit website. And there you go. As you can see, this is our new website. Still very basic, not uh, much going on yet, but you can see it is live and it's up and running. Already looking kind of nice um, with this nice background picture here, but we're gonna switch it up to uh, make it our own. So now that we see that our website's up and live, what we can do is we can go back to the dashboard just by scrolling over this and then clicking dashboard and now we are back. So now it is time to make some magic happen. So the first thing we're gonna to do to get your website started is change the theme. And to change the theme, you're gonna go over here to appearance, then click on themes. And that is gonna take you to this page here. So as you can see, what the themes are, are basically um, the layouts of your website and how you know the things are displayed. So what we're gonna do is the website theme that I use is this one right here, One Page Express. So we're gonna go ahead and click Activate on this theme here. And keep in mind, once you mess around with your website a little bit on your own and get kind of comfortable and used to it, you can pick any of these themes. If you click add new theme, it basically pulls up a large, matter of fact, I'll show you real quick. It pulls up a um, larger database of the different themes that are avail available. So as you can see, there's tons and tons of different themes. So you can go through here and pick um, one out, but just keep in mind that the add, uh, I'm sorry, the plugins are gonna be different for each theme. Um, there may be some that you can kind of uh, use between themes, but likely most of them are gonna be different plugins. So if you do change your theme, you're gonna to have to delete all your plugins and then um, install the plugins that the theme uh, suggests or ones that you know work. So uh, getting back to where we were here, we're just gonna click back. And again, we are activating the One Page Express theme. So Let's see, go ahead and activate that. And now you can see the theme is uh, now the first theme on our little list here and that it is active. So now if we go to our website, our web page here, 
you'll see that the background and the layout has changed. So that's what the uh, theme does is, um, you know, allows you to create uh, your website in different formats. So, all right, so that's looking pretty good. So the next thing we're going to do is go back to our dashboard. Then we are going to go to plugins. Like I was saying earlier, when you change themes, likely they're going to suggest uh, different plugins that work with the theme. Um, this one has Contact Form 7 and One Page Express Companion. So from experience, I know that the Contact Form 7 wasn't working with this theme at least last time I tried it. So we're not going to worry about installing this theme. I actually have another uh, contact form we can use. Um, but we will go ahead and install the One Page Express. And this is going to help us with the uh, functionality of our website. It gives a little bit of description about the different things that it does. But we'll just go ahead and click Install Now. All right, so now you can see that we have um, One Page Express Companion right in our um, installed plugin section here. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click this and this basically will check all the boxes that you have, um, all the uh, plugins that you have in this section here. And then you're going to go to bulk actions and then hit activate and apply. And that's going to activate this um, plugin right here. And then from there, what we want to do is, like I said, the other contact will go ahead and um, install the other contact form. So we'll just go back to uh, install plugins. I'm sorry, new, add a new plugin. And then we will go to, let's see, over here, you can just type in contact forms. and you'll have a whole list of various contact forms you can use. So the one that I know works is this one here, Contact Form by WP Forms. Um, I know this one actually works, so we'll go ahead and install now. Let that install real quick. And then we can go ahead and just activate it here. All right, awesome. Now what this does is this pulls up a guide, um, gives you uh, some information about uh, how it works and the features and things you can do with it. But being as I'm gonna show you, um, if you'd like, you can come back and read this later, but we're gonna skip this for now. And go to, back to our website now that we have those plugins installed. And as you can see, installing the plugin changed this whole section and made it uh, a lot nicer, gave us some uh, added sections here, and installed basically all of this website for us. So I mean, at this point, you're pretty much done, <laughs> uh, minus the, uh, you know, inserting your own uh, information and things that you want to display here. So as you can see, we are pretty far into uh, creating a, a pretty nice website for very inexpensive. So now what we're gonna do to kind of clean this stuff up here is we're gonna go up into the uh, left corner here and click on customize. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give you some more options as far as customizing your web page um, while you're still on the web page. So that's, that's pretty convenient. So as you can see, there are uh, different versions of um, this theme here. I actually have upgraded on a uh, another website. I did my main website uh, for my company, and it's very nice. It, it allows a, a lot of extra features and things uh, to you know help make your website stick out. But for this example, we're just going to go ahead and use the free version. All right, guys. So since um, this website that we're creating here is just going to be a nice, basic, simple, clean website. I'm just going to stick to the things that I know that we need to get that accomplished. So the first thing that we're going to do here is change our title and then we have our subtitle here and we can change that as well. And as you can see, um, this one page express makes it very easy to customize and change your uh, website because they have these little icons here. And then when you click on these icons, what it's going to do, it's going to open the section 
in this menu here that's where you need to be to uh, edit this um, section of the header area. Um, and the header area is basically the upper portion, you know, that has your title and your little subtitle here. So this is considered the header, basically the top of the web page. So as you can see, what it did was it even, um, you know, shows us where we need to go. It shows that we need to be in a title section. So what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and uh, enter whatever your title is, and I'll do the same. All right, so I'm going to be using Vision Creators. And then uh, let's see, for my subtitle, I'm going to put So there we go. We have our title and we have our subtitle. So being as though we know we want to keep this, you want to save as much as possible, you know, because you hate to, you know, something happen and you lose all the work that you've done. So now that I know I have my title and my subtitle here that I want to use, go ahead and hit publish. And what that's going to do is going to save the changes that you have made to your website. So now, uh, if we were to go to the website, we would see, um, you know, the new stuff that we had entered. But if you did want those buttons there, it would be as simple as coming back over to your um, button section here and clicking, rechecking the boxes, and they would reappear. So, like I said, I do not want buttons, so we will continue on. So now what I want to do is change up these little uh, areas here with um, you know things that uh, fit the website better. So the first thing you can see is that uh, these emblems are editable. So if you just go ahead and click on the little edit button, it'll pop this window up for you here. And you can choose to have their, either have the uh, little emblem here be visible or not. So we'll keep that visible, but we're gonna change it. And we will see which emblem we want. So that first section right there, I'm going to label as um, business registration. So what I want to do is maybe find something that fits with um, fits with that, you know, the words that I'm putting into the text there. So let's just go with this little clipboard for now, for the sake of time. We'll apply that. And you can see our nice little clipboard there. If you didn't want these uh, little icons, it's as simple as uh, deleting them. But I think for now, I'm going to keep the icons. And then I'm going to go down here. And then I am just going to enter some things that I already uh, wrote up. So I'm just going to go in here, re-paste what I had already written. And you can see now it says business registration. So then we're going to go down to this section here. And again, I have some things already written up, so I will just select that and come over here, highlight all of this, and then just paste. All right, great. So our first box here is already done. So as you can see, there are four of these little areas where you could put some information. I only need three, so um, like I said, it's as simple as basically selecting a you know the um, the box that you want to edit, and then just deleting that one. So now that brings us down to the three boxes that I wanted initially. So that's great. So then we're just going to go ahead and go through these and kind of um, switch these out. I'm going to browse for a new icon. This next one is going to be let's see marketing tools. So let's see. Maybe a little toolbox looking briefcase thing here we'll use. I think that'll work. All right, and then again, I'm just going to be going in here and inserting the um, information that I had already written out. So we're just going to go in here, highlight this, paste that in. Same in here. Mm -hmm. 
let's see. I need this to use this. I'm gonna make this one kind of short. Oops. Oh, I didn't do that. All right, and then in here we can just paste that. And then over here, our last little icon here is going to be for web design. So let's find something. This nice little desktop here will do. Mm -hmm. There. All right, so now you can see that we have all of our little um, information sections filled out here. And in the little uh, call to action buttons, we will uh, address those once we move forward with uh, getting some pages uh, established. So till then, we're just gonna continue down here into our um, the main section of our front page here. So what we want to do is there is a lot of information here um, that, you know, or I should say a lot of space here that we may not need. Um, you may need it or you may not. But the way to change this is to go back. But before we go back, we're going to go ahead and publish so that we save all of our changes that we made here. And then we are going to go back here. And then we are going to go back one more to the main customizing menu here. And then as you can see, under the page content, you have manage page sections. So each one of these indicates a different section. And now we are on our overlappable overlay, now that we've clicked on that, which uh, I believe is this section here. And then if we click, click content, it's going to start taking us down to the various content sections. We have a portfolio, testimonial, call to action. We have all kinds of stuff here. So being as though I don't need all of this stuff, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just delete the sections that I am not going to be using, which is going to be a good portion of them. Because again, this is going to be pretty simple. So I'm going to leave content see call to action I'm gonna leave these two content pages and then I'll just leave the about me section all right so now you can see that we've simplified that down to a much uh, you know cleaner direct website you know it's not too much going on nice and simple so what we're gonna do now is move on to our About Me section. So basically right here, you're gonna to wanna to enter any information that you wanna share with your customers or your clients. So I'm gonna delete this section, but I will use this section to enter uh, the information that I have written up about my company. So let's see, for right now, we're just going to make this pretty simple. So we'll just go ahead and paste that in there. And then as you can see, pretty simple. And then this is kind of just like the header section where you had your title and your subtitle. This basically this is your main you know, statement. And then under here you can add an additional statement if you would like, which I will do. Let's see. So we'll just go ahead and finish off this paragraph that I have written out and enter that right here. All right, great. So now you can see that this is telling the your uh, visitors or your customers a little bit about what your business does, it gives a little bit more information, um, you know, just kind of a, a general statement, letting people know what you're about. So then you can come down here. Um, I don't need a get started button yet, or I'm going to save that. Um, for uh, later down the page, 
But if you wanted to, you could keep this here and then to edit it, you would just click on the little edit icon and then you have this little pop up and you put whatever you'd like. So you could, uh, you know, put your new, whatever you'd like your button to say and then the URL that the um, button will lead to once you click on it. So again, I'm going to be showing you how to do that a little bit later. But for now, I do not want this button here, so I'm going to delete that. And then if you did want to, if you accidentally delete something and you want to re-add it back onto the page, what you would do is just click on the Add Element button right here, and you'll see a little pop-up will come up, and it'll give you options as far as what you can um, add back into the section. For instance, if we wanted to uh, reinsert that button, we would just click button, it would ask us what we want to put in there, then we just hit apply, and there you go. So it's that simple to, um, you know, reinsert any of these uh, little features back into the web page. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this, because like I said, I don't want a button. Um, these pictures are actually somewhat fitting for what I am doing. Uh, the only one I'm going to change is this one right here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click Edit. It's going to bring you to this image file right here. Then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on Upload File. And then it's going to ask you to uh, drag a file and drop it into the section. So what I'm going to do here is pull up my files uh, off screen here. And let's see, I'm just going to find a quick picture to insert. Let's see. Let's go with. Let's go with this one. And what else do we got going on here? Uh, let's go with this one and this one. All right, so these are just some pictures that I already had saved in my uh, computer. I found all of uh, the images, or majority of the, my images, I use a lot of my own, but uh, a majority of the images I use, I found by just going into Google and doing an image search for, you know, business or success or whatever you're um, looking to put into your website. So then I'm just going to select the image that I want to put in. So let's try let's do this one. So then we just choose that, and there you go. We have our image here, um, and let's see. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to change this one as well, because I just like my pictures to match. So what I think I'm going to do is change this to this one, and then change this. Uh, let's try to see if that one, how that one looks. All right, see, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so if you want, you can mess around. You can change change the images to you know pretty much whatever you'd like. All right, so now that we have these images inserted where we would like them, we're going to go ahead and scroll down and continue our um, web page here. All right, so now we're going to move on to our content sections here, and as you can see, we have um, the images here, and the layout is pretty much the same as the rest of our um, website here. So basically, all I'm going to do, um, I'm going to keep it simple, and again, I'm going to be using uh, the stuff that I had already pre-written, just to kind of enter that stuff in here for the sake of time. You guys can do pretty much, you know, whatever you want in this section. If you'd like to share some different information, or, you know, there's something else that you'd like to put in here, you can. And keep in mind, you know, when once you get comfortable with this, you can, you know, mess around and add different elements and things like that. I'm just giving you the basics so that you can get started and have something, uh, you know, up and running um, for your viewers to see. All right, so let's see. So now we're going to move to this section again. I'm just going to use a portion of what I already have written up here. All right. Actually, you know what? I am going to put a little more information. Actually, I'm just going to put this whole section in here. Might as well. We got the space. <clears throat> so we'll just go ahead and paste all of that in there. 
And then uh, let's see if we can find, I mean, this picture doesn't quite fit business registration. It's more looking at graphs and stuff. So let's go ahead and edit this and then find another picture. Um, and then again, apologize for all the uh, off screen stuff I'm doing, but uh, I'm trying to make what I got work here. So let's see, I am looking for something that deals with business registration and I do have this picture and I think that would work good. All right, so we got somebody signing some paperwork, so we'll add that in. All right, so I did find in this section, um, when you insert the images, if they're not nine, uh, I'm sorry, 1920 by 1080, they don't fit um, kind of the rest of this section. They'll be smaller. So when you do search for your images, uh, at least for this section and probably likely for this section here, you're going to want to search, uh, you know, whatever it is you're looking for, and then just put 1920 by 1080, and then you'll, you know, see pictures that, um, you know, will fit this area. And um, also there are ways that you can resize images, which uh, likely I'll do another video on that, um, to where you can just get an image that isn't 1920 by 1080, but you can utilize um, paint to resize them. But anyway, another topic for another day. Let's continue on here. And we're going to move down to the next section. And then we're going to edit that one with this. Oops. OK. And then I'm definitely going to have to get a different picture for the marketing tools there. Because that I don't think is a good representation. OK, so we're going to get this. Change this out here. All right, then we're going to go find ourselves another image. All right, so let's find a better image for marketing tools. Let's see. I think this one is good because it's a good show of a marketing tool. All right, and there we go. So we will choose that. Insert that image right there. All right, so I like that. It looks good. I like the way uh, everything is flowing. So, all right, on to the next section. So the one thing that I do notice is that being as though we have uh, three sections up here, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up three sections down here with uh, you know a little more information for each service I provide. Uh, so how we do that is we're gonna go over here and click on add a section and then we're going to scroll through and let's see we are looking for another content section so where is content portfolio subscribe must be up here features about uh, let's see there it is all right so Okay, so we have one on the left here and one on the right. And let's see. Okay, so I guess this is... Um, so I guess we're limited, being as though this is the free version. But uh, as far as making another one of these exact sections, but I think what we can do is we have access to this one, and this is just a full width section. So let's add this on here. And as we can see, it kind of drop to the bottom of the page. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and delete these other um, sections for right now. And then we'll reinsert them later. So we'll go ahead and delete contact and we'll go ahead and delete the call to action. All right, so now we have another section and uh, it is a little bigger. So what we're gonna do is, I think once we change the, the uh, image here, let's close this. I think once we change the image, um, it may resize, so let's find out. So let's go ahead and delete all the kind of extra columns that this um, section has that we don't need because all we need is, oops. Okay, so I don't know if these are gonna stay there, but I guess what I can do is I can add a button element. Um, Oh, did I click the right one? I don't think I did. Let's see, I want button. And then we'll just put a 
Earn more, just like the rest. We'll apply that, and then let's see if we can move this over. Hmm. All right, so we can't move this over, so that's unfortunate. Okay, well, uh, looks as though we are a little limited with the free version. Um, so this might not affect you. Let's say if you only had, uh, you know, one thing you wanted to put up here, or if you just completely deleted these. Um, and you only had you know so much information this may not affect you but in this case um, let's see what happens when we you can see that this, the picture resized so that's good since we took some of that information away so let's go ahead and um, add a picture in uh, for web design and I know I have one of those in here so I should be able to find that fairly quickly and it is this one so we'll let that load and then we will add this image in and all right nice so it is looking like the the other section so far so let's go ahead and edit this section here with my pre-written stuff all right we'll paste that in there oops let's double copy that somehow and then we will enter our um, the rest of our text here. And let's see. Oh wow! Yeah, so that definitely re enlarged the picture. But I mean, that's fine actually. Uh, you know what? Let's see how this is going to look on the actual website. And a way to do that is first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and publish this since we're practically done. Um, now you want to go ahead, you can exit out of here, or you could actually you could open another tab as well. So all right, so here is our site. So as it stands, um, we have our home page, which currently leads to nothing right now, but that's fine. And then we have our information, we have our pictures. We have all the information about our business, and then we have, um, yeah, these sections. That doesn't look too bad. I do notice that the section is not separated, so we may have to change this color, but I'll show you how to do that. So yeah, um, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Pretty good so far. All right, so great. So now let's go ahead and go back to our customizing page. And first thing I want to do is uh, change this section down here because you can see how it kind of blend, blend, blended together. Um, and that's because you can see this uh, background here is white and this is more of like a grayish. To change this background color, I think you're limited with the free version, but you can. Um, so you can see background color. We'll just click this to white and save that change. And then we'll just go ahead and uh, check this out real quick. So let's just go ahead and exit out of here and see what we got. All right, so now you can see that the sections are divided up. Very clean looking, very nice. And all right, so yeah, they, and another thing is that the, uh, you know, those where it says empty text, it's not showing up. So I do notice now that these buttons are offset, so that's that's good. So now all we have to do is go back to our customizing screen, and we can add that uh, button in at the bottom because uh, we had it added in, but I thought for some reason uh, all the rest of those were centered, but they're not. So now we just go here. We click Add Element. We'll go ahead and re-add that button in. Let's go ahead and re-enter our text. Um, and more apply that and bam all right so now all of our sections here match up and uh yeah this is looking pretty good pretty good for five bucks you know i can't complain so what we want to do now is let's see so as you can see i used uh, vision creators with a k because you know vision creators with a c wasn't available but in the actual site i'm going to spell it uh, correctly with a c so what I want to do is get rid of this uh, vision creators up here in the uh, header section. So how we're going to do that is scroll down your menu here and go to general settings. 
And then under general settings, you'll see a site identity tab. Click on that. And then if you, let's see, look right here, site title. It has the um, name right there. Or in reality, if I wanted to, I could just spell it correctly and, uh, you know, go with that. But I think for this, uh, you know, I'm going to, let's go ahead and leave it for now. I kind of like that. I don't know. We'll mess around with it. But for now, I'll leave that up there. But just so you know, if you don't want that there, you can uh, just completely delete this. And if I were to do that... Uh, you see that it'll refresh without any words up here. So that does look pretty nice. I kind of like how it cleaned it up. Um, and also, yeah, if you don't want this white bar here, we'll touch on that as well. So like I said, for right now, I think I will leave it. And, um, you know, I might switch it up later, but we'll see. So once we have that changed, we want to go ahead and publish that to make sure that it's all saved. All right, so now what we want to do, um, like I said, this white bar here, I'm going to show you how to change this um, for a different appearance when you're scrolling down the page. So what we want to do is back out of this section here, and then we're going to go to the header area and then header background. And then here you will find the stick to top uh, option here and what that does is if you uncheck this basically the uh, your header title your site title and your menu are going to just stick to the top of the page and you'll see when I scroll there's no white bar anymore so that just kind of gives it a different look um, me personally I kind of like that without the white bar but again I guess if you um, want uh, if you have more pages up here then uh, you could leave the bar here to where your visitors can just easily navigate back. So that's up to you. I mean, either way, I think it looks pretty good. But personally, I prefer the non-stick to uh, the, the taking the stick to top off. Um, and then also now, if I'm going to be doing that, what I'm going to do is go back and take the uh, words out here because I think that'll look better. Again, that's under general settings. And then we're going to go to site identity, and then we're just going to take this off. So we're going to delete those words up there. All right. Yeah, I like that a lot better. I like the way that looks. Now, again, that's personal preference. You guys uh, just saw how to um, you know put words back up there. Also, uh, while I'm here, let me show you. You can also insert logos. So say you have a company logo or an image that you uh, you know would like to display. All you have to do is click on the select logo right here. And let's see, I'm just going to pick, uh, I don't know, let's just go with this one for right now because that is a, another product of mine. Um, and then you can crop it if you'd like, or you can just skip cropping. I'm just going to try to get this to fit into the screen a little better. All right, so we'll do that. And then what that's going to do is crop that image, and then it's going to put it as a logo. So this is going to display up where those words were that I just erased the uh, vision creators and it's going to display as a logo if uh, let me see cropping still cropping no, I'll skip cropping alright so now that we just skipped the cropping I don't know what was going on there but you can see up in the corner it's uh, displayed as a, a logo So you can um, put your company logo if you have one up there, um, you know, up to you. So I'm just going to remove that. That was just a uh, demonstration of that feature. All right. So with that, I am happy with the way my site looks. Hopefully you are with yours to this point. What I'm going to do now is um, go back to the dashboard and show you guys how to add pages and to change your menu. Also, what I want to show you is if you look up here, um, it currently says visioncreators.com slash wp-admin custom php blah 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 has all this extra stuff here. 
that is um, you know kind of sloppy looking and if you look at any of the major you know corporations websites they don't have that here we're also going to take care of that so that's going to be the first thing we'll do and then we will uh, move on to the pages and menu so we just want to go ahead and publish this and for the sake of it we'll just take a look at our home page uh, as you can see I opened another tab here uh, made it a little easier to switch back and forth so this is our web page looking really nice I like it I like it alright so now um, from here uh, I was just in my dashboard because I opened another tab but from here you would uh, just ex publish exit out of this and then it's going to give you this little menu here then you're just going to click on dashboard and you will be back at your dashboard alright so now the first thing we wanted to switch is how the um, domain name in the uh, search area here looked and that is called a permalink and that describes the page um, that the uh, link is associated to. And how we switch that is we're going to go down to settings and then go down to permalinks. And as you can see right here, um, right now we have the custom uh, structure selected and it gives you other options. Um, this is the, you know, bunch of extra stuff we don't need on there. So what we want to do is actually just change it to post name and that's just going to have your your domain name and then the post name or whatever page it is you're on and that's going to look a lot neater so let's go ahead and save those changes and I would actually suggest uh, if you didn't yet go ahead and add another tab um, and then just pull your website up um, it'll it'll show up like this and it just makes it easier to, to go back and forth I should have said that earlier so if you haven't already uh, go ahead and do that but um now that we save the changes, every time you save changes, you can basically go to the next tab here and um, go to the uh, website. But you do want to refresh it to make sure all the changes you made are there. You'll see up here that it now just says visioncreators.com. A lot neater, a lot cleaner, and it looks, uh, looks good. So now we're going to go back to our dashboard, and I'm going to show you how to add some pages. So how we add pages, and we're just going to go over here to Pages, uh, click All Pages. You'll see that you already have a front page here, which is your main uh, website page, the one we've been working on, and then a sample page. This isn't necessary. Um, if you click on it, it just you know gives you a little rundown about you know um, how people use it, use the uh, page section here. So we really don't need this. So we can go ahead and go back and then we can delete this so we'll just hit uh, move to trash or actually we can just click it here either way you can go up here or just click it right here this is a little easier so we we'll just move that to the trash and now we just have our front page so what we want to do now with uh, this front page here so that when we click on home on our website it takes us to our front page which is our home is go ahead and you can actually just quick edit click quick edit and then all you're going to do is change this to home actually I'm going to use caps home and then you just uh, update that alright so now uh, your front page is labeled home so anything that you have uh, in your menu once you have home it's going to take you to your front page so that is going to be the next thing we do is go to our menu which is under appearance. We're going to go ahead and uh, create a new menu. Uh, let's see. So this already has a home page in here, but we're just going to go ahead and create a new menu, just so I can show you how that's done. So you just click create a new menu. You go ahead and um, enter the name. I guess I already have a few from my other account saved in here. So we're just going to label this one main one. We're going to create menu and then we are going to add the home page to the menu and then you'll see here that that popped up now we can go ahead and save that change and then we can go over to our next tab here and uh, actually let me exit out of here and you'll see that 
uh, our home page. Let's go ahead and refresh that too, actually. Got to remember that. So now you'll see that our home page, when you click on it, will actually take us back to the top of our page. So now our front page is set as home page. So now that we have that squared away, let's go ahead and add another page. So I'm just going to click back to my tab, into my dashboard, and we'll go back to pages. And we can actually just click add new page. Let's take us right there. And we're going to label this next page contact us. Now you can make um, as many pages as you'd like, but obviously it's going to get cluttered if you make too many pages because you're going to have to put them in the uh, menu section. But um, for right now, I'm just going to use two pages just because I kind of like this simple setup. You can add you know, an About Me page, and the process is, is the same. It's just a matter of creating a page, adding it to the menu, and then uh, you know, just refreshing your page, and the uh, new pages will be there in the menu section. So for right now, what I'm going to do is just publish this as a new page. And then we're going to go back to Appearance again because we need to add that to the menu. And you can see now that's added to the menu here. Um, and actually, I'll probably make those uppercase too, but I'm just going to show you for an example here. We're going to add that to the menu. And there we go. We save that change. Go over to our website go ahead and refresh and you'll see that we have a contact page but for some reason it's in front of the home alright so to fix this little issue here what we're going to do is go ahead and go into our customizer to customize the uh, page you know, what we've been working with and then we are going to go down to uh, general settings go over here to uh, site identity oops I'm sorry no this is uh, it's actually right here menus I'm sorry so we're gonna go down here to menus open that up and then you'll see that this is the old menu the uh, original menu that was there and then your new menu so you wanna go ahead and click on that and make sure that that's labeled as primary and then that should change our contact uh, around to where now it's behind the home. It looks a little better that way. And it looks like it automatically made it caps, so that's that's good. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and publish that. And uh, I'm just going to exit out of here since I'm using this more so as my reviewing page. Um, but uh, you'll see now that when we click on contact, it's going to take us to a contact page, which is currently blank because we haven't put anything in there yet. Um, and then when we're ready, we can go back to home page. All right, nice. So now our navigation um, is uh, working better through our website. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of take um, a step back, back to the um, URLs for our buttons here. So what we're going to do for that is come back up here to Customizer. Go ahead and open that back up. And then what we want to do is go ahead and now that we have another page, what we can do is go ahead and click on that page. Actually, that's right. You can't, I don't know why it does that, but for some reason you can't click on the pages in Customizer. So what we need to do is go ahead and exit Customizer. And then we can go ahead and click on our contact page. And then we want to go ahead and copy uh, the URL here for our contact page. Copy that. And then we will go back to Home and to Customizer. There may be a way to fix that. I'm just not sure. So I'm just doing it this way. All right. Um, so now that we are back and have our URL, all we need to do is go into each of our buttons and uh, yeah, go ahead and paste our URL for our contact page. Now you can put anything you want in here. Um, if you know that you want these buttons to lead to um, its own page for whatever you know topic you have in your little uh, section there, then you can do that. But um, I'm going to go with a more simple setup for right now. Again, just giving uh, you guys the basics to kind of get you started. And so we'll just go ahead and paste our contact page into all of our 
button links here. Oops. Uh, paste there. And I think this is the last one. All right, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, you do have to uh, delete that little hash there. I just remembered that now that I saw that. Uh, you do need to delete this hash or it will um, put your site name before the um, link or the URL you have there. So yeah, just go ahead and make sure to erase all of those. All right, so now that those are all erased, all right, so now we can go check it out. Um, so we'll just exit out of our, oops, yep, see, there you go. I'm glad they gave you a little uh, pop-up because I forgot to publish that. So you wanna publish first, and then you want to exit out of here, and we'll give our buttons a test. So we'll just go down to, you know, one of these buttons randomly, we'll click on here, and you can see that it will take us to our contact page. So again, any, um, any uh, link or URL that you put into that button, it will take you to that page. So if you have other websites, you can actually have those buttons lead to other websites or whatever you'd like. So, all right, so that's another step down. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go back to our home page. So now we have our um, content, we have our pictures, we have our um, buttons working and linked to a page. Things are looking good. We're, we're getting really close here. Um, so while we're here, let's go ahead and see about changing this background image. Um, if you want something different, um, you can change the image. Once we're back in our customizer, what you want to do is scroll down here to the uh, header section. Go ahead and click on header background and you'll see a image of um, you know this rock canyon thing back here right here and this is your header image so what you can do is you can actually change this image and uh, again you can search for something new or you can use one of these what I'm going to do is uh, change to another one of my images I have in my file here because I have one that I uh, actually use on my uh, main website for the company so let's see where did I put that so we are going to go ahead and use all right so we're going to go ahead and use this image here uh, so we'll choose that and it's going to switch into our new background so there you go now you have uh, your new background um, I actually think that uh, let me check something real quick yeah, I think that that picture, it looks like it has been cropped. Yeah, so as you can see, this is one of the images that I had cropped or I had um, resized. So it actually looks a little blurry. For the uh, header picture here um, in the header area, you're going to want to use a um, 10, uh, 920 by 1080 picture because that's going to give you the best um, detailed look. So we're going to retry this with the, the, the image before I resized it. Again, this is a 920 by 1080. And as you can see, much cleaner, much crisper, just a lot better look. All right, so now that we have our nice new background image um, on our header section here, looking really good, um, what we'll do is we can actually go ahead and work on our contact page. So you're uh, customers will have something nice to look at when they click over to get more information. So what we're going to do is go ahead and exit out of here because I'm pretty sure we have to switch and then go to contact us outside of the customizer and then we can go ahead and go back into the customizer to uh, customize our contact page. Go. All right, so basically you just have to have two tabs open for this to work. One with your uh, front page with the customizer open, and then another one with the uh, contact page open and the customizer open. Okay, so now what we can do here is if you 
Uh, let's see. So if you like this image, you can keep that there. Um, but let me just show you. Also, what you can do is in the header section, in the inner page header background, that is going to give you the same option as far as uh, changing this image. And you'll see that you can also hide it if you'd like. If you'd like a more you know simple contact page, you can go ahead and just have that um, image blank. And then it just gives you a little more solid, uh, maybe a professional look, I guess. But if you don't like the plain look, uh, it's just a matter of uh, adding a new image. So I'm just going to do that. And it even says right here, it suggests, uh, you know, 920 by uh, 800 pixels. So let's see, for our contact page, just for an example, I'm just going to put this uh, picture up. And we're just going to skip cropping see what we get here all right so that actually looks pretty nice so we can kind of leave this uh, we'll go ahead and leave this as our uh, top contact page um, photo and let's see what we have here um, we're not going to show the subtitle so we'll just publish that so it's just going to say contact us and then what we can do is go back and go to the uh, main uh, menu here, or customizer menu here, and then we are going to go ahead and exit out of this. And we are going to be heading back to our dashboard. So then once we're in our dashboard, what we want to do is go ahead and go to our... Um, what we're going to do now is actually create the form for our contact us page. So where we want to go to do that is to the WP forms right here and we're going to go to new form and then from there what we're going to do is uh, scroll over to the simple contact form here and then as you can see this is a uh, pretty uh, complete form that they already have set up for you but there are different fields that you can add if you would like I am going to add a phone number field in here it's just a drag and drop and then to edit this, I'm going to just click on it and then change this to that. And then make this a required field. And then um, what we want to do is make sure that um, our form is properly labeled. So we're going to go down to settings. Right uh, in general settings, you can see the name of the form. So we're just going to change that to contact us. You can change that to whatever you'd like though. And then from here, what we're going to do is uh, we want to make sure that our form, um, once it's filled out and submit is clicked, uh, that the information goes to our email. So we're going to go into settings and go to notifications. And then right here you'll see send to email address. So right here, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, enter whatever email address you want the um, form information to go to. So I'm going to use my company email. And then from there, uh, that's pretty much it. So you can go ahead and save that. Now that you have that saved, you can go to the form. And our uh, simple contact us form is pretty much set up. So now all we need to do is go up here and click on embed and it's going to give you this um, code here that you want to go ahead and copy so we're going to go ahead and copy that we'll close this down and then we will close um, this window here and we're going to want to go back to our pages all right so now we're going to go into our contact us page and then we're going to go over here into the text section and we are going to paste the uh, code that we had copied from our form and um, basically what the text, sec text section is um, while we're here is uh, if you do know how to code or you need to put any HTML code or any type of code in you would enter it under the text um, and then you could click back over and see visually what it looks like. In this case, it's not showing us the form. It's just still showing us the code. But we will update this. And then when we go back to our website, which we will do now, and then click over to our Contact Us page, 
you'll see we have this nice clean form here. So as you can see, uh, we have our contact us page set up. You can do this however you'd like. You can um, change the form. Um, you could have a different image up here. Again, I'm just kind of showing you guys the basics to get you kind of up and running and, um, you know, put a little bit of time into learning different things. And if uh, you guys do need some help with something, feel free to leave a comment or contact me. I'll leave my information below. And if you guys need any additional help or you need help with anything else, uh, let's say maybe if you're starting a business up and you need help um, registering it just because there are different procedures you have to go through in a different states, or if you just need help marketing maybe a um, product or an idea that you currently have or you're looking to um, start marketing one or creating a website for one, I do actually provide services in the business that I uh, have and um, I would be more than happy to help you guys out with that. So if you guys uh, want to check out, check that information out. Also, you can also go check out the um, what this website looks like with the uh, pro version so you can kind of check that out um, and see if that's something that you may want to upgrade to by going to my website it's knl-consulting.com I'll leave that information below again if you guys need any help um, feel free to contact me I'd be more than happy to help you guys out but until then we are done with our new website for now so I hope you guys are happy and I hope you guys found this tutorial beneficial and I hope that you guys did enjoy it. But um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. And until then, just remember to stay positive and keep it moving. All right, you guys take it easy. still, we can't chill. Back when I rocked the white and blue grand hills, I realized there's no dream that I can't feel.